John Cathedral is located in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. It is a vibrant ministry that is designed to meet the spiritual needs of the entire family. 
We have classes, prayer calls, and fellowship opportunities for men, women, children, youth, and seniors. And we have room for you. Welcome to the broadcast. Well, greater nation, it's time, it's time to give God glory, it's time to give God praise. We are here in the sanctuary, ready to give God the utmost, the highest, because he is the supreme ruler of whom we all appreciate and love. Listen to the tribe of Judah, our praise team. God bless. Anybody grateful for joy? Lift your voice if you're grateful for joy. Yeah. There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love instead of. There's freedom for you captured me. I've got joy instead of more. Yeah. There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love instead of pain. There's freedom for you captured me. I've got joy instead of more. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, said you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, say this beauty. Say I got you love. There's freedom. There's freedom for you captured me. I've got joy. I've got joy instead of mourning. Say it again. There's beauty. There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love. I've got true love instead of me. Oh, there's freedom. Oh. There's freedom for you captured me. Say I've got joy instead. Say you give me joy. Down deep in my 
for your joy, oh God. We're grateful for your peace and your love. Yes. Thank you for the joy that's down in our soul. The joy that gives us strength. Yes. You give me joy down deep in my, my soul. soul. Down deep in my, my soul. soul. Down deep in my soul. We know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's strength like no other. And we're grateful that it reaches to us. Anybody grateful that he reached down to you? We bless him for reaching to us. Oh! 
Say there, say reaches to me. Reaches to me. When I'm low, you reach down reaches and you pick me up, oh God. Reaches to me. When I need you, you reach down and you pick us up, oh God. Reaches to me. When I call you, you're quick to answer. You reach out to us. Reaches to me. Thank you, Lord, for your strength in our weakness. You reach down to reaches us. To we glory in our Good morning, greater. Good morning, greater. Good morning, greater. We are here at the Greater St. John Cathedral one more time, lifting up the blood-stained banner. Let us pray right now and go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you because you are keeping us alive. We thank you because you have established our golden moments and allowed us to live beyond today. We thank you, God, that last night was not our last night. And we honor you with our words. We honor you with our praise. We honor you with our music. We honor you with our presence. God, you are good God. And above you, there is no other. Protect us and we shall be protected. Strengthen us and we shall be strengthened. In the strong name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we give the Lord praise and say amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, um, as we get ready to go um, to our declaration, our affirmation, let us all stand wherever you are and repeat this with me. This is my Bible. It is the word of God. It is God's plan for my life. The word declares... And Psalm 105. Okay, Psalm 119. Yes. Verse 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. I need a word right now. Show me the way. Show me the way. If you would be so kind, yeah, turn with me and in the book of Daniel, starting at verse, at chapter 7, Daniel chapter 7, verse 15. I'm excited, I'm excited. Daniel chapter 7, starting at verse 15 and going through verse 18. And this is what the word of God reads as follows. This is I, Daniel, Daniel's doing the talking. And listen what he says. I was grieved in my spirit within my body and the vision of my head troubled me I came near to the to one of those who stood by and asked him the truth of all of this and he told me he made known to me the interpretation of these things those great beasts which are four are four kings which arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. And if you was drop down with me to verse 21 and 22, and it says this, I was watching and the same horn was making war against the saints and listen what it says and prevailing against them until the ancient of days came and a judgment was made in the favor of the saints of the most high 
and the time came for the saints to possess the kingdom. I want to talk a little bit about keep fighting. Just keep fighting. The entire vision of Daniel is explained to us as a depiction of human history and world events. It is in this vision that has culminated in Daniel's mind. And God gives him this vision to show him of things to come and things on the horizon. It is somewhat scary. And it looks almost as if it is a horror movie. Anyone who would look at this and would see a beast having four heads would be scared out of their wits just to see it, but to see it in reality. I share Daniel's emotions and feelings. He says he was troubled in his spirit with in his body. Daniel is careful to note and to show us that the spirit and the body are two separate things. And there are some things that can scare your body and then there are other things that can trouble you to your core or the core of your spirit. David's, I mean Daniel's spirit was troubled. It was troubled to the point where he was fascinated and also bothered, but not just bothered, he was on the verge of being depressed. The reason why he was depressed is because God gave him a promise. God gave him a promise. God gave him a promise. The promise was that the saints of the Most High would prevail. He told them without question, hang in there, Daniel. Hang on in there, Daniel, because the saints of the Most High shall prevail. He says, Daniel, I want you to understand that the fight is not for anything or the fight is not for naught. The fight has a purpose and the fight itself gains, watch this, for you and I credibility. You and I must ultimately understand that the fight that we are in currently engaged has a reason for it because the saints will Prevail. I've got to say that one more time. The saints of God will prevail. I, I know you're struggling. I know you're going through conniptions and looks like you're not winning. But guess what? Hold on. Keep fighting because the saints shall, will ultimately prevail. So that's why... It is my assignment to be the encourager to the body of Christ. So many times I've seen people get discouraged by what they see, but not what they faith. See, it's the difference between seeing something and faithing something. To faith something means that you believe beyond what you can see. And in spite of what you See, you still yet believe. See, there's a difference between knowledge and faith. When you start off, most of us create a pyramid or a monument to knowledge. So knowledge starts off being strong. And therefore, because faith is built day by day, moment by moment, time by time, faith has to be built. So when you first start off in God, 
It is your opinion that knowledge is stronger than faith. So that if you make the statement, I know that something is, as opposed to I believe something is, to say I know it is a stronger statement than you saying I believe it. Because when you say I believe it, when you get started, it has a sense of doubt connected to it. But when you say I know it, it has a sense of fact associated to it. Now let me break this down. So therefore, my brothers and sisters, when your faith becomes stronger day by day, moment by moment, time after time, year after year, decade after decade, as you build it brick by brick, moment by moment, time after time, you will discover that your faith is stronger than your knowledge. So therefore, when you say, I believe something, it actually has more credibility than what you know might take place. So therefore, when I believe it, I don't have to have the proof in order to demonstrate my faith. I believe it in spite of what I may know and I want you to know and declare that my faith as of this moment is stronger than my, watch this, knowledge base or therefore my ability to know. I want you to know I don't believe God just based on factual evidence. I believe God based on faith evidence. I can't say for sure based on my knowledge that God brought me through. I can't say for sure that God has paid my bills time after time. I can't say for certainty that God made ways out of no way for me, but when you turn it over to my faith side, I believe beyond a doubt that God has made a way every single time in my life. That's why I got to keep on faith and that's why I got to keep on believing. That's why I've got to keep on fighting. Say it with me. Keep on fighting. Just keep fighting. Just keep fighting. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I declare that my assignment to the body of Christ. See, other people have been assigned different things in the kingdom. And if you notice, if you please, Daniel's assignment is very similar to my assignment. Daniel's assignment is to make a difference in the kingdom by his belief structure. And because of his belief structure, his faith, God purposely positioned him in a way that his faith will be shown victoriously. So Daniel, in the midst of this, he is told by way of God that the saints will prevail. He is told very clearly in, 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 in the preceding verse. And it says in verse uh, te verse 15, he says, I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit within my body, and a vision of, uh, had troubled me. I came near to those who stood by and asked the truth of all this, and look what it says. So he told me and made me known to my interpretation of these things. Those great beasts which are four, watch this, and four which, which arise out of the earth, but the saints, look at verse 18, but the saints of the Most High shall in the future receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever. I promise you I'll get to that. But then when you drop down, he says, watch this in verse 21, he says, I was watching. And at the same horn, and the same horn was making war against the saints. The same horn was making war against the saints. And watch this, here's the shocking point, and prevailing against them. 
Now, see, this is the moment of depression. This is the moment when things go awry. This is the moment where Daniel thinks that the vision that God gave him in the beginning is not coming into fruition. But it is this that happens to the saints of God when we come up against trouble and we get in the middle of it and it looks like the devil is winning. It looks like the enemy is prevailing. It looks like those who are the forces of evil are winning against the forces of good. But yet God says in the midst that it don't look like you're winning, you are winning. When it looks like you're going down, you're not going down. When it looks like it's getting close, it's not getting close. I've got your back every step of the way. God always makes a way for his saint. Don't get discouraged. Don't allow yourself to get depressed. Don't allow yourself to be talked out of your miracle. You believe that God is going to heal you. You believe that God is going to make a way. You believe that God is going to open a door. You believe that God can still make highways in the middle of the desert. I remember a time in my life when it looked like things were not going to go the way I wanted them to go. I remember when I I was therefore going to college and I wanted to go to college and I wanted to go to college but look I did not have the money necessary I had been admitted to the wonderful prestigious university or the college of Morehouse College and that wonderful learned individual learned indi um, thing and, and what watch this and 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 so I did not have enough money to therefore enroll completely in there so I sent in the money and they said come on and by the time I got there it took us 14 hours of driving to get there and by the time I got there between the time I left Baltimore and arrived on the campus of Morehouse College somehow they had found some money in order to pay for the rest of my tuition y'all ain't talking back to me see you got to keep going even when you don't feel like going you got to keep making a way even when it doesn't look like the way is going to be made when your back is up against the wall that's when God does his birth's best work look here it is here that God begins to tell Daniel Daniel he said buddy Danny Danny let me show you something life is full of inconsistencies life is full of contradictions life is literally full of conflicts you will not go between where you are today and where God is going to take you without contradictions, without inconsistencies, and without conflict. You're going to have conflict. But it's the conflict itself that brings the best out of you. See, my brothers and sisters, you cannot have perfect fume until a flower or rose petal is crushed. It is the crushing of the rose petal that releases the perfume. You can't get a pearl until an oyster becomes super irritated and the super irritation of the oyster is what produces the pearl you can't get the gem until you go through what it takes in order for it to be produced that's why the struggle is necessary that's why the struggle has a purpose that's why you're stronger after a fight than you are before the fight the reason why you're stronger after the fight, even though you got taxed during the fight, the knowledge that you survived the whole fight and you came out on the other side of the fight lets you know that God is with you and he's right there by your side. Now, as we look very clearly, I want to bring to mention these four beasts. The four beasts represent the four kingdoms that are coming to Mesopotamia. The first beast is the Persian beast. The second beast is the Median beast. And the third beast is the Babylonian beast. But the fourth beast is the one to come. The one to come is the scariest of them all. It's the most monstrous. It's the most insipid. It's the most jejune. It's the most hideous of them all. It's the one that rocked 
Daniel at his core. But notice, if you please, if you look at the text more closely, you will see when Daniel begins to get discouraged, when Daniel begins to art articulate his fear when Daniel begins to therefore share with God his uttermost thoughts look he says I was watching he says God I was watching and the same horn from the same beast was making war against the saints and watch this and prevailing against them and watch this he says in verse 22 until the ancient of days came the Ancient of days is a reference to God, but it's a reference to denote to us this is not no new thing. This is an old thing that has come to our new thing. Y'all ain't talking back to me. See, when you begin to know God, you don't know God just in the moment. You get you have a track record with God. It's not that He healing, He's gonna heal you now. It's the fact that you know that He has healed you in the past. And the reason why you believe he's going to heal you now is because he has healed you in your past. He's the ancient of days. He's the healer, the deliverer, the motivator, the inspirator. He's the one who's been around since time got, got started. He's the ancient of days. And this is what he says. The, the ancient of days came and he made judgment at this in favor of of the saints of the most high. Good God Almighty. With this shares with both me and you. That God sides with those. Who don't give up the fight. Who don't throw in the towel. Who don't say I'm going down. I don't care what the enemy is. Whether it's coronavirus. Whether it is AIDS. Whether it is a heart attack. Whether it's a stroke. Just keep fighting. And the victory is to those. Who keep on fighting that's why my brothers and sisters whenever you need God to make a judgment you got to have your war clothes on you have to have your helmet of salvation your breastplate of righteousness the sword which is the word of God you got to have your feet charred with the preparation of the gospel you can't get up thinking it's a romper room situation you can't go through life thinking it's nothing but Doritos and sweet potato pie no you got to feast on the word of God you got to feast on the meat of God you got to know when it gets dark he is the light of the world you got to know that when you get sick he is my healing when you got to know when things go awry he is my peace and my salvation I'm getting excited right now just thinking about what God God can do is there anybody here who can give God praise for what you want to see take place in your life possess the kingdom that's what he says possess the kingdom he says in the last verse and the time has come for the saints to possess the kingdom he says the time has come for those who know who God is to take possession of what you know God is to you. It's a possession. God begins to tell us to know is the possession of God to possess the knowledge. You got to walk knowing that God is going to back you up. You got to know knowing that you shall not starve. You got to go knowing that God can make a way out of no way. Let's give God praise. Let's give God glory. Let's give God amen a hallelujah in this place and I declare without a shadow of a doubt you got to keep fighting and you will possess the kingdom of God and the time came for the saints to possess the kingdom of God the kingdom is yours reason why there's a kingdom is because we have a king. Yes, Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we prepare to stand before you, as we prepare to stand before your throne, we bow at your presence. We give you glory, honor, and majesty. 
Father, touch someone who, like Daniel, has teetled and toddled. Who, like Daniel, who may be in the fight of their life, Just like you told our brother Daniel, hold on, just keep living. Give me a minute and the old ancient of days will show up. So God, we pray for saints today. This morning we call out the unchurched and those who are outside the ark of safety when you're in a zone that's not safe so God we speak life right now to them who exist on the fringes and so Lord speak to us speak to us right now in the name of Jesus we declare everything is going to be all right let's give God praise and say amen in the name of Jesus we give the Lord praise and say amen amen come on let's sing it While they are singing, I'm asking our technicians to make sure those of you who look to be saved need to connect with the ministry. They'll put it on as we sing this offertory. We encourage all of the Greater St. John Nation, Greater Nation as we affectionately call it. It is our Greater Nation. The Greater Nation, I'm calling upon you to make sure you stay faithful to your tithes and to your offerings. Let us be led now by the tribe of Judah in our offertory.
Greetings, greater family. Let us continue to pray for our world as we use wisdom and take preventative measures during this coronavirus pandemic. Here are the announcements for Sunday, September 20th. Thank you, greater nation. We only need nine more subscribers to reach our goal of 1,000. If you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Ask your family and friends to subscribe to our channel as well. And don't forget to like the videos that you watch. The Greater P.O. Box address is still available for mailing in your contributions. Use Greater St. John Cathedral, P.O. Box 239, Upper Marlboro, Maryland 20773. Thank you for your continued support. Giving envelopes must be submitted on a monthly basis in order to ensure that you get credit on your financial statement. Sunday's worship experience will be held via streaming at 9 a.m. You can view it via YouTube.com. Drive-up service will be held each Sunday morning. You may tune in your radio to 88.3 FM once you are on the parking lot. Fresh Start Tuesday conference prayer call and prayer praise and study will resume September 22nd. Youth Bible Study will resume Wednesday, September 23rd. Join the Divine Women of Greater on their weekly women's prayer call, Thursday mornings at 6. The weekly Brother to Brother men's prayer call happens Friday at 6 a.m. The conference call-in number for both is on the screen. All seniors, young at heart, are invited to join us at noon for prayer, testimonies, and a sermonette. The call-in number and access code are on the screen. The SHARE team is in need of many angels to help our church disciples and community during this pandemic. All donations are accepted from canned dry goods to cash. Due to limited stock this month, we have pre-ordered 30 value orders, 15 steaks and 15 chicken wings. All orders are on a first come, first served basis. You may purchase as many packages as you want. Email SHARE at stjohn.net or text 301 254-2795. Orders and payments are due Tuesday, September 22nd. With COVID-19 continuing, the scholarship ministry has canceled the 25th anniversary gala with sincere regrets. Upon request, we will be issuing gala ticket refunds beginning October 2020. Refund requests must be submitted to scholarship at stjohn.net by September 30th. We thank everyone for your overwhelming support. We plan to fulfill our mission to financially support our college scholars. If you would like to donate your ticket refund, please email us, scholarship at stjohn.net. We will celebrate our milestone once the pandemic passes. Election day is Tuesday, November 3rd. Greater Disciples, if you are registered to vote in Maryland and would like to request a mail-in ballot for the upcoming 2020 presidential general election, you can log on to the website on the screen. Please read your e-blast for more detailed information. Did you know that you can give online using PayPal or by using your smartphone with the Givelify app or Cash app? Visit our website, stjohn.net for PayPal, or you can download Givelify or Cash app via your app store. Please fill out the ties and offering envelopes and indicate Givelify, PayPal, or Cash App. This concludes our announcements. This is the year my faith will cause my breakthrough. Thank you, guests. Thank you, those who visit us today on our streaming service. Thank you so very much. It's to the bottom of my heart. We appreciate all of you for spending this moment, spending this time with us. It is indeed a privilege and a pleasure. I do not take it lightly. I think it's an honor to have those who are faithful to the task and those who will keep fighting. Thank you so very much. Now let's do what we do. Our pledge, my house, we will serve the Lord. Let's say it together. Oh, that thou may bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that thou hand will be with me, and keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. And Lord, please grant my request unto the only wise, omnipotent God, he who is called old ancient of days. Let there be dominion and power, glory and honor, now henceforth, and forevermore, may we all say together, Amen.